Welcome back to Punoy Cross over the basketball show for the Filipino community. We talked about game one. Let's talk about game two. It's almost halftime. We're outside here. But what does the Raptors have to do in order to get that game two win? I, and like I mentioned before, play consistently the way they did on game one. I think they did a great job from first to second, the like fourth quarter, I think a few minutes left. But I think they really just, uh, I think LeBron is such a great player that even with OG as good as of a defender he is, Pascal as good of a defender, they've been a containing LeBron. I feel like they just need to just let him score. Let him be the person, the player that he does, he's not naturally is. He's a natural passer. He's great at getting his teammate involved. Don't let, you know, don't let Kevin Love, Kyle Korver, don't let J.R. Smith get it going. Don't let him get hot. Contain, like, stay on them. Stay on the three-pointers. Don't let them get open shots. And let LeBron be a scorer. I, I think that's, you know, that's, the, I think, the best strategy they could ever go because they have really good one-on-one -on -one defenders in OG and, and Pascal and, and Lowry. And I feel like DeLon rides there, too, in Van Fleet. I feel like if they let LeBron be the kind of player that he's not comfortable with and he's not naturally is, it can, it can, it can be the difference in this game, too. Talk, I guess talk about our two franchise players, two superstars, you know, Lowry and DeRozan. What do they have to do in order to, you know, get this W today? I feel like LeBron, uh, the Cavs are going to do exactly what they did in game one because they were able to steal a game from us. And with that, if that's the case, Lowry needs to be aggressive right away from the spot. Get his shots going, get into the lane because once the fourth quarter comes, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, LeBron was on Lowry and he wasn't able to get his shots. He wasn't able to get into the basket because LeBron was on him. So the key is for Lowry to get aggressive right from the get-go. Get, and right now he's playing really well, actually. He's got 13 points, which is on half time, uh, before halftime comes in. So it's great that that's what Lowry's doing because once fourth quarter comes, here comes LeBron on him. So DeRozan, if he's watching this game, get everyone involved. This is where he gets to put on the kind of skill that he developed throughout the whole season. This is what made him an MVP cal uh, caliber player this season. He got everyone involved, not just you know the starters, but also the role players like Van Fleet, DeLon, Wright, Pascal. This is what he gets to shine because Lowry's gonna get aggressive and the Rosen's gonna get everyone involved. So when fourth quarter comes, that's where he takes over because I don't think anyone really can guard him if LeBron is on LeBron, uh, on, on Lowry. Exactly, how important though is this game too? It, it feels like this is a do or die for us, but like, if how important is this, I guess? And like what LeBron, uh, Lowry and the Rosen said, this is a game seven again. This is a game seven because if they lose this on the home court, they lost all the home court advantage they could ever have. And, and it's hard for them to win at Cleveland. It's hard when LeBron peels home, that's scary, that's scary. They have to win this, they have to get, you know, clearly into this series because, into this game, because after they go back to Cleveland, it's really tough to win one game. Imagine having to win two. Yeah, it is. You talked about going back, so in a moment, we're gonna go back into Jurassic Park and we'll show you some behind the scenes of chilling with all the Raptors in Jurassic Park. So, watch us over there. All right, <laughs> that's our second segment. But I hope you guys are watching, you know, the Raptors game. I know all your hearts are stopping right now because it, it does matter a lot. True. Like, if you have any comments in, and, and if you feel like there is something that you know, the Raptors are doing well, shout it out on us. If you feel like there's something the Raptors are not doing well or there's something, a strategy that you feel is working for the Raptors, whether it's containing LeBron, containing on the shooters, comment because this is, you know, basketball is our life and, and this is you know, a great opportunity for us to have a team like the Raptors having this much success. Oh, but let's also shout out some stuff happening. We'll be at Zelda Fest. <laughs> oh, yeah, this Saturday, guys. This Saturday, we got, you know, we got really good friends from the Southeast Cartel. We got shout out to Ray and Ian, who's giving us the opportunity to be part of their show. We're going to be there, and we're going to do our favorite game that we used to play called Can You Score? So if you're going to be there, come play. It's gonna yes, be that's Zelda Fest Tagalog rap. So if anyone's ball and, ball and hip hop go together, ball and rap go together. So if you want to showcase your skills, we'll have, some, uh, we'll have a prize. So see if you can shoot our, in our game, can you score? But again, Filipino TV, we're not really on set right now. <laughs> we're outside of set. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's it's fine. We, we still feel the vibe. We got, we got a, uh, can't lie, we got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> we got kicked out, but Filipinos, you know, we, we're here to watch basketball, so we're going to try to make our way inside again. But, you know, it's good to be out here. Anjo's here. Anjo! Come here, Anjo! Mr. Basketball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anjo! Come on. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Marky Mark and I here. JR, I think, is, I don't know, I think he's probably watching, but I hope you're watching with your family. Basketball should be a way to, you know, Watch with your family and your friends and potluck. Yeah. Potluck's like, 
All right, good. Eat some food at home. Marky Mark, okay, since we're going live right now and you know you're the basketball head, I want your expert opinion. Who's your pick and why? Finals, why? I'm gonna go, uh, if the Raptors can pull this through, I really believe they can. Um, if not, I, I'm going with Boston, uh, just because of the hurdle. Like the, the Ron James is really hard to get there, but Boston is really well coached, and their players are really coachable. Uh, Tatum, Smart, Horford, these are like better, like, these people are playing out of their minds, and, and they have a really great coach. I think he's the best coach right now in the NBA on top of Steve Kerr and Greg Popovich. The way he he gets the most out of any players that he ever coached. Guys, if you guys don't remember, Avery Bradley was one of the top two-way players. He went to Detroit to get, you know, to get a more of a, a main offensive, as a main primary scorer. That didn't go so well. Isaiah Thomas was the MVP candidate last year, having 29 points a game. Where is he now? Right, the players that he was, you know, that he was given, he made the most of every single one of them. Jay Crowder was a great player too when he moved to Cleveland. Didn't work well. Now he's making the most in the, in the Jazz because Quinn Snyder is a good coach, but Brad Stevens made the most of any player that he can get, and I think he's doing the same thing with the Boston right now. So I think they are gonna come out of it. Wes, I, I, I'm Golden State. Like it's hard to it's hard to go not to not to go with them with Curry out there. Now that he's back, they're trying to get their mojo on. They just you know stomp. The New Orleans Pelicans, and I feel like Houston is going to struggle with Utah. And if they can't even, you know, struggle with a team that has a rookie as their main uh, main guy, how are they going to do against Golden State? So Golden State and Boston, I, I can see this coming, unless LeBron does something phenomenal like he's doing right now against the Raptors. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm, I'm going to go with that. You're the basketball head. I'll agree with you, except I, I still like Houston. So Houston, I know Donovan Mitchell has been a problem. I see he was yesterday night. He was crazy. Oh, wow. And they got they came out with the win and it should have been Houston's win. It was home court. It's Harden's home court. And, you know, it, it's, it's just phenomenal to see such a rookie playing at a high level. And I'm just scared to see what, what next because his record is now with the Hall of Famers because he's been putting up points. In the playoff, like he's, it's crazy how he's just doing that. So I'm gonna say, Houston. I think that's just the kink in the road. They're gonna be stronger than ever now because, think about it. Like, why would you let Utah beat you like that? So I feel like they're gonna get their act together. So I'm gonna go Houston, and Boston. Houston and Boston in the finals. So.